All right, so this is gonna be my kind of video. A few weeks ago, we 3D printed a piston, and you guys really like that. It turns out you like stupid experiments just as much as I do. Yeah. So uh, in that video, we asked if you guys had other suggestions. Quite a few people came up with one that I really liked, which is a muffler. So <laughs> I came up with a couple designs, a couple designs that would be tough to do any other way, like maybe not impossible, but very hard to make out of steel. So we gotta test those out today. Uh, this one is my best attempt at hopefully making a muffler that's just extremely quiet. Mm -hmm. I don't actually know how to design mufflers, but we'll see. Honda's and, gonna come after us for you know their generators and stuff. I'm just hoping it's not louder and that <laughs> be a win. Yeah, we'll see. And this one is one I'm most excited about. This one will hopefully make this thing sound like a twin. I have no idea if that's actually gonna work. And then I found an $80 <laughs> trumpet on eBay, so we're testing that too. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see if that'll make different notes if you press the keys while it's running. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I have no idea. But we did need a test rig for this, so mm -hmm. Matt got to set up for that. Yeah, so if you didn't see in the previous video, we are currently working on electric swapping our KO TT125. The transmission is broken. Uh, this is going to make the perfect test bench. It's got electric start, like we got a little fuel tank from an airplane on there. Uh, I think it's going to work perfectly, so we're, we'll be able to do a baseline with a stock muffler and even baser line with no muffler, <laughs> and then we'll just get to testing these things, which uh, it, we've been very, very curious how it's going to sound. Uh, no idea. Yeah, I think we're going to start off with a quiet one. Uh, before we do any testing, I think we'll go over to the computer so I can actually show what you what the insides of this thing looks like, mm -hmm. so it actually makes sense to you. Okay, so I know you can't see much by looking at the outside of this thing, but there's a lot going on on the inside. Steve, yeah. what the heck is going on? Yeah, so I got pulled up in the slicer here. So I actually wanted to do more, but my laptop started struggling while I was making this thing. So we got a little bit of a conglomeration of other muffler designs. These V baffles, those are a thing that pop up in mufflers. Mm -hmm. They're designed to like cancel out specific frequencies. Uh, I didn't do any of the math on that. <laughs> so like, I just, you know, took a wild guess and threw some in there. Maybe they'll do something. Maybe they'll make it significantly worse. Another thing I found is these cones. So these cones here are hollow and forces everything through them. There's four of them. Typically these also are perforated. It was like 2 a.m. when I was finishing this up, so I didn't feel like doing that, but they're there. Then we got a bunch of these teardrop shapes. Hopefully that just like slows down the gas some more and spreads it out. I don't know. <laughs> Those don't show up in mufflers, maybe for good reason. This is the first thing I think is mostly unique to 3D printing that I think is maybe the most useful. These are all just slots. These are open slots, mainly because the inside of this thing might be hard to see, but it's actually textured in there. It's called fuzzy skin on 3D prints. Oh. It's the first time I've used it. I probably could have made it more aggressive, but it's not just like flat pieces of you know steel plate like you normally have in there. So I just wanted to increase the surface area of that fuzzy skin. So that's how I did that. So that's kind of like the same theory behind like sound deadening foam or something yeah, like, like that? Yeah, like the eggshell. That's what I was going for. Just a rough surface to scatter mm -hmm. the sound waves? Yep, so that goes all the way around and then it forces the exhaust to do a 180 down into the second chamber here. The goal of this, so this is just mostly open, I wanted to do this stuff here. I'm hoping the exhaust kind of flows out around these channels and runs into each other because one of the ways to cancel out sound is to have two waves basically cancel each other out. Again, I'm sure there's math to make that actually function properly that I didn't do, but I'm hoping it just kind of runs into itself, loses all its speed and just like falls out these big slots. There's four big slots total on this thing that's an outlet. I have no idea. I. I purposely don't research this stuff very much because I just want to try my ideas without it getting like tainted by reality. Uh huh. So <laughs> we're just going to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just hoping the exhaust is moving slower and therefore somehow quieter. Yeah. We'll I find mean, out. it's got a lot of paths to go down before it comes out those slots. So mm -hmm. I think this one is interesting because maybe like, I mean, you could get super wild with the inside geometry on this. So like, a company wanted to 3D print these out of metal. Like there may be actually a use case for them in like equipment or generators. I think Matt brought up generators. Like mm -hmm. 
it might actually be worthwhile in some weird case. So yeah. I wanted to try it. Yeah, and in the future, maybe you could, like if it does actually work, maybe you can isolate the individual components or chambers. And see what works better, yeah. yeah that sure. would be really interesting. Mm -hmm. I've never used this before, so. <laughs> so we're getting pretty technical here. Uh, Justin's gonna run the engine. We're gonna have it at idle, and then I don't know what RPM yet, but we'll get RPM on there. And then Steve's got I got a free decimal. free decibel meter app. I'm sure that's perfectly accurate. It's decibel, good, dec decibel. It's good enough for our purposes. I said decimal. Hey, which <laughs> one of these did you say is go and which one stops? It doesn't matter too much, I don't think. All right, I'm good then. <laughs> All right, fire up, Everybody Justin. Go. Yep. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> our tack is garbage. Just throw that to the yeah. side. Right. Okay. You just have to do it by ear, like, Justin. You can <laughs> estimate it. Close yeah, this isn't that scientific, I guess. All right. Do, well, do we know what the rev limiter is? I'll just bounce it off that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Try to do like 3,000 RPM. We'll get it at idle, maybe like 3,000 RPM, whatever that seems right to you. Okay. Just try to do it consistent, and then we can do rev limiter. Let's Save the rev limiter, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just do the rev limiter first. Uh, uh, ready? <laughs> A whole lot louder, but it topped out at 113. Yeah, that's pretty wild. It was at 110 at like, I, don't, I think that was 5,000, not three. But. It was up there ways, but that's all right. It's pretty cool. Dude. Okay, so that was a pretty good baseline. We had what, 95 at idle? It was like, it was like low 90s at idle, mm -hmm. and then 110, and then 113 we maxed out at. Gosh, it seems like, compared to what it actually sounds like, it seems like it doubled the sound yeah that was 90 to 113 that's not that that, that hurt a little bit yeah it's funny how decibels work because it's exponential right so. yeah it's like i forget if it's every two or every four decibels like doubles mm -hmm. the heard sound yep. so like 110 to 113 mm -hmm. actually is a, a significant difference yeah the perceived volume is makes sense much much higher yeah, as you go up this, in the decibels especially this year yeah, yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> all right so next we're gonna get the stock muffler for this engine and see what that does. I don't think it quiets it down much, but as you can see, it's just a straight through design, typical uh, glass pack with perforated holes and a tube. It doesn't do much. No, but it's like 99% of all other power sports mufflers out there. So mm -hmm. it is what it is. Let's slap that on. Does that cause it to grind with a kickstart halfway in? Or no, not? no, that's normal. <laughs> that's going nowhere. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm hmm. Go. Oh, wow. That's actually way quieter. It's much nicer. It says average 84 when we're not talking. So when we're talking, it's actually louder than the bike, so it's throwing it off. But I think you can put it down like 84. this thing to survive <laughs> those are good results though they were all quieter than with the open pipe so the data on the phone sort of makes sense ko knew what they were doing when they made a muffler <laughs> i think there's room for improvement though <laughs> okay we've got our cool down 
Steve's gonna attach the quiet muffler. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. I think we're taking bets on whether or not it's gonna explode. <laughs> so I had to make this thing super thin because I didn't want, I printed it over the weekend so I wasn't watching it. I didn't want it to use more than one roll of filament. So like as it is, it was 0.95 kilograms of a you know one kilogram roll. So it's super thin, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on in there. <laughs> Any number of things could happen here. Certainly it could just blow apart and split into pieces. It could melt in six seconds. It could be loud. It could shoot off. I'm I hoping for an think. explosion, honestly. I'm hoping uh, it's just silent. <laughs> yeah. Given well, Justin's we'll throttle control, I think explosion is uh, likely. <laughs> <laughs> So I'd be wearing like steel sh steel toe shoes or something. I, mean, I, I don't know. There's a drawer safe? below you with safety Maybe glasses. Maybe some safety glasses. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe we should all glasses. have safety glasses. Well, there's oh, well, there's oh. a bunch in here. Oh yeah. Hey, look at that. Hey, you know what else? Safety yeah. first. Here. Whoa. Uh, you can't use those for this test. Where were those at? <laughs> yeah, you don't need them for this one. Five dustables. A little too tight over here. Custom. I mean, try to push it on while you're using it, or? Uh, no, no, I got it. Look at that. Wowzer. I think I'm going oh, yeah. There's something. <laughs> I have so many questions, but none of them make sense. <laughs> it's like two pounds of plastic there. Imagine if that bad boy is made out of metal. Should we still sure. tighten down this clamp here? Yeah, I'll let it cool down for just a second, and then clamp her. All right, we're all safetyed up. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a weird looking thing. It certainly doesn't look like a muffler. This is a real moment here. Yeah. Uh, all right. We're gonna find out how to dumb I am right now. <laughs> Idle check. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Come on. Come on. She's just a little too thin. For a minute there, it seemed like it had some plausible fun functionality. It didn't so sound like bad. 85 at idle is essentially the same as a stock muffler. 84, 85, like we're measuring with a mm -hmm. cell phone. You know, who knows? What was the 5K number? I think it was, was it 108, I think. I think it was a little louder. That makes sense. Kind of yeah, it was one louder, I think. Okay, so just a little bit louder than stock and then just a little bit louder on the rev limit. Mm -hmm. So it didn't work. No. Per se. It worked as a muffler. But. Just not <laughs> an especially good one. <laughs> I, mean, I personally thought my urometer said it was quieter, but. It sure seemed quieter I mean, on first start up. It could have had like more pleasant frequencies and still been just as loud. Yeah, that's know? true. Like that's a thing with mufflers for sure. So like it could have been a success in that way. It did sound good until it blew apart. Yeah, yeah, I especially at idle. Like mm -hmm. I did think it sounded good. Turns out fiberglass packing <sighs> it just works. happens to work. It does, it does. If I would have like put more time to this, I could have done multiple pieces and you know, throwing some of that in there. But I think, I think somebody else could do some real good like this idea. And, yeah. And, you know, take that idea and run with it. I, I think, think so really too. Something. Plausible, plausible. All right, on to the next one. So for this next one, it's 
crazy looking. Uh, yeah, this is my uh, little corkscrew muffler. It's the one I'm most excited about. So the idea of this is to make it sound like it has more cylinders than it actually has. Okay. So if you can see this, it's it's attempting to split the exhaust pulse into two you know equal halves. Yep. And one half just goes straight through the center like normal, and the other corkscrews around. So this is actually you know an open on the inside for an exhaust pulse path. And the goal is, is to make one pulse happen and then the next pulse happen like halfway in between when the next cycle ha of the engine happens. Mm -hmm. So I got this cheap little wind speed reader and I was just holding it up there and holding it you know, like at a certain RPM. I was basically just guessing the RPM. And then I was using that to figure out like how much longer this path had to be than the other path. Oh. So, you, yeah, so this path ended up being like, I think it was just over a meter, and then the center path was like 300 millimeters. So, you know, basically triple the length to try to get this pulse to happen halfway in between. Hopefully it sounds like a twin. I, that's the goal. It makes sense. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I purposely just stopped thinking about it once the idea happens. <laughs> you know, it's like, I just got to try it. Because I'm sure if you really think about it, there's probably something that screws it up. That's not as fun. It should sound no. weird, though, and that's mm -hmm. all that really matters. Yeah. Hopefully it sounds weird. Maybe it sounds completely normal. That would be disappointing. But. <laughs> yeah, different at all would be cool, though. I probably, uh, in the Piston video, a bunch of you guys asked for the model for some reason that you're going to print it yourself. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but I will throw these up there along with the Piston. I'll have, like, a printables or a thing of first link in the description. Okay. Now the other thing is we don't have a name for this, so just go ahead and take a good look at what it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Comment your name you think we should have for think this about below. It. Okay, <laughs> just come up with a name for it. Children do watch our episodes, by the way. Yeah, be cool. But they, but they can't read that <laughs> good. Maybe put your yeah. Don't put your suggestion in our comments. Though. <laughs> just comment under somebody else's comment. <laughs> I mean, I think it looks kind of like the thing that used to be on the outside of a barber shop. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. the first thing Reminds that comes to my mind. Yeah, ice cream Definitely cone. Definitely the first. That's the only thing I thought yeah. of. Oh, yeah, ice cream cone, little twister. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Justin, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, what's uh, get your... Oh, yeah, you want to try it? The decibel yeah, meter. Might as well, I suppose. For science, you know, this is important data. Yeah. We're going to publish this stuff. You're going to earn a Nobel Prize for this. Uh-huh. Shoot. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, it is coming out both holes. It's actually it's super quiet. Uh, yeah, I think it's a tad bit quieter. I'll stop talking. Yeah, so that was quiet. At like 5,000 RPMs, that was quieter. So, okay, what was the idle on that one? Like 83. Yep, okay, so right? yep 84, 83. That'd be like our quiet, very close to stock, but maybe a little quieter. Mm -hmm. Then 5,000 was 106, I think. Right, where you paint? I think, Roughly 106. I think I'll have to check 106. the footage, yeah, but. Yeah, it was something like that. It's so hard to think when this thing's screaming. I mean, that again, though, at 5,000 RPMs, quieter. And, and then, then <laughs> and then something bad happened. It really, it went up to 114. Oh my gosh! Just, it amplified the sound. It literally, that <laughs> I was feeling it. Yeah, it was certainly a much sharper tone. I would yeah, say. Yeah, not only was it louder, it was a very unpleasant sound. <laughs> I swear, at idle though, there was a little something going on in the sound. Like you know, I wouldn't claim it to sound like a twin. But there was like a, I don't know how to describe it, but there was this little something yeah. different about maybe, it. Maybe we'll just start it up like this and then we'll jam the muffler on so we can hear it. Smart. Yeah, just keep it idling Yeah. and we'll see what it sounds like. Smart. Get the Smart. contrast. <laughs> it's 
like that. Uh, it definitely makes a huge difference at idle. Mm-hmm. Sounds good at idle. Yeah. Which, I mean, I did, when I was doing this math in and out, I was doing it at like 1,500 RPM. So I guess okay. maybe at higher RPMs, it just doesn't work out. I, I, yeah, it's not clear to me at this point what the future is of uh, home 3D printed muffler technology, but you know. I think maybe it dies today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a new spiral technology. It certainly looks interesting. Yep. Like if you had that on your bike, people would ask you about it. People would ask questions. Uh, <laughs> if you combine sure. that with like an E3 spark plug, you're... <laughs> 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 Nah, Bosch plus fours only, dude. Oh, damn. I don't think the world's ready for that. So, in conclusion, uh, just kidding. We're trying to think if we can even make any conclusions from this, though. We gotta try this sucker out. <laughs> Mike's had his mouth all over it, so I'm not gonna. It's just gonna be launching spit across the shop. You know? <laughs> Mike's gum that he lost. Have you guys ever wondered what a trumpet's gonna sound like? on the end of your muffler or on the end of your, <laughs> your exhaust your engine uh, i haven't no, <laughs> no this is one of those late night internet surfing ideas <laughs> you know what can you do like trumpet purposely supposed to amplify sound right mm -hmm. like that's the purpose of it so I didn't think of that. When you say it like that, this seems like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not, that wasn't a criticism. That's just, you know, trying to estimate what might happen here. Do you think the keys are going to play different notes or? <laughs> They're probably going to seize up almost instantly. Well, we'll give still, her a shot. I think these, you know, these slides might yeah. become a projectile, but because there's a lot of things that can just, <laughs> just shoot off, <laughs> pop right out. <laughs> There's a lot of places to not stand during this test. I think I'm going to wear two pairs of safety glasses. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do it. Mouth is you like uh, hot brass in your face? <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, settle her down. <laughs> Go to sidebysideblogparts.com for your trumpet mouthpiece to KO 125 adapters. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope it doesn't just blow off and ruin the trumpet. Uh, yeah. No way that'll okay. happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You ready for this, Steve? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Shut it off for just a second. It, it did come loose. <laughs> I think we got to just, just push it. Are you serious? <laughs> hey, can we pull that out and then put a zip to our hose clamp on it? Dude, it sounded like a trumpet for a second. Real quick. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're doing take two. We got this thing clamped up. I couldn't control my laughter for a minute there. <laughs> it sounded like a trumpet. It was doing trumpet things. I could, like, and it was so quiet. It was super yeah. quiet. Yeah. Imagine when you rev it. Oh my gosh. You ready All for right, this? go ahead, yeah. Justin. <laughs> oh, oh, you got it, you got it. <laughs>
Trying to do another sound test with them. Yeah, it turns yeah. out a trumpet's the best muffler. That was fantastic. <laughs> oh, take that, woodwinds. <laughs> <laughs> that could have worked so much worse. I can't That's believe awful. it actually sounds like a trumpet. Oh. Uh, That's hilarious. I, I'm just I'm really trying to assess what's happened here today and what I've learned from it and what you know where to take this <laughs> newly found knowledge. We need to get more. I don't know. Instruments, <laughs> more music. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like I, saxophone. You know. Imagine yeah, this thing, a tuba sure. through this thing. A tuba, a tuba, for and sure. And then put it on something that actually drives and drive through town with it. Yeah. We could put a tuba on an X3. Those things are big. Yeah. I'm into it. That's fine. Right. I'm now into it. That's probably, probably a little right. bit more than eighty bucks. Yeah. Might have to get a used one. Yeah. Tested the concept. Works 100%. No issues whatsoever. Yeah. Tuba on an X3. That's the that's the thing. Well, on that note, stay tuned for the next episode of 110 Garage. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I oh my God. Dad joke enthusiast. I Just am. thinking, I think we gotta check out the inside of this, see how, uh, how much it melted. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. That didn't work. Well, wow, it, it, it did work. That was great in there. Wow. So there's your sound scramblers. It was really yeah, just that, that first end. little bit. Yeah, that's the only part that melted. Oh, man. Hmm. I mean, well, that's cool. Oh, man, don't move yourself. Really coming apart. Do you need this? Yeah, yeah, probably that. Days of work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a 38 hour print. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it okay. mostly looks pretty, pretty good, though. That's cool to see the actual insides of it, though. Yeah. There's your little teardrops. Uh -huh. Where's the uh, the fuzzy parts you're talking about? Weren't they it's... up here? Oh, there. Yeah. You can see that texture in mm -hmm. there. Wow, that's actually really cool that it can print that on purpose. Yeah, I definitely, if I was going to do it again, I would make it way more fuzzier. But, mm -hmm. you know, this is my first try, yeah, so. Yeah, still. I would say it was a good proof of concept, but it actually kind of wasn't. <laughs> it, it didn't work at all, but yeah. At idle, it works. I think if, yeah, somebody putting more effort into this, I think could do something. Mm -hmm. Did we yeah, get definitely. decibel readings on the, uh, on the trumpet? I did on video. It was oh, okay. quiet. I did on video. It was quiet. It was, oh man, I, I want to say it was quieter than the double muff. Yeah, I believe it. It sounded Or quiet. the... Barbershop okay. sign. Well, mm -hmm. Trumpet mm -hmm. wins the day. You guys have any other dumb ideas that you'd like us to try? Nothing is too dumb for me. <laughs> Keep that in mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is really falling apart. But yeah, seriously, let us know. What the heck should we do? Uh, the sky's the limit at this point. Like, this KL motor's got a bright future. <laughs> real bright. Sure is. <laughs>
Don't puff your cheeks. Don't puff them. <laughs> you're like, don't Keep, puff your no, cheeks. don't puff your cheeks. Like I'm like, telling you, don't. Like just, you're gonna kiss Matt, like a. Uh, yeah, you don't puff Don, your cheeks. <laughs> Don took it too far. <laughs> I can't do it. What? I don't even know how I'll hold this thing. Like that? I think your right hand goes in the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Oh. That was a pride and joy. That was a family heirloom for mm. two days. Yeah. But you can still pass it on. That's true. Just Here you go, Matt. Just give no, it a Thank you.